Former England skipper Michael Atherton is excited about watching Pakistan's latest batting star Babar Azam play in England. Pakistan are scheduled to travel to England in the summer. But the series can only take place if the world recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic by then, Atherton, nevertheless, is looking forward to watching Azam bat in English conditions. It should be terrific. It's a big summer for England. It won't be as big as the last summer because that was the World Cup and the Ashes, which are always slightly different, but, this year, we've got Pakistan and West Indies coming. Pakistan have a very good record against England in recent years in England, Atherton told the PCB media team. They're always a valuable team to come and they get good support from the crowds, the cricket should be a good and highly competitive. We're looking forward to seeing Pakistan in England this summer. And Baba Azam looks a fabulous player to me. He looks so skillful and the game looks so easy to him at times, I'm very much looking forward to watching him play. But Atherton admitted that the young Pakistan batsman could find the English conditions tough to deal with. It is a challenge for players when they come from the subcontinent to England. The last two, three years, the conditions in England have been extreme actually, the Duke's ball and the floodlight sand, you know, the way the ball has moved around, so it's going to be a challenge for all Pakistan's batsmen, but I think they will be up to it, he said. After a difficult start to his test career, Azam, a prolific white ball batsman, has begun to impress in the red ball cricket as he has earned rave reviews following his superb batting in South Africa and Australia. Meanwhile, Atherton also saluted Pakistan for its ability to produce great bowlers despite the lack of world-class facilities. When I played against them, they had some great bowlers in particular. The last attack that I played against on my tour here of 2000, they had Wasim, Akram, and Wakar, Yunus, then Mushtaq, Ahmed, and Saklane, Mushtaq, now you have got four great match-winning bowlers there, he said. Pakistan, of course, have produced great batsmen, but I think in recent times, the strength and depth of their bowling and particularly the kind of wicket-taking bowlers, pace bowlers and mystery spinners, have set them apart. I don't know why Pakistan particularly produces great bowlers. I suspect it is something to do with the relative lack of infrastructure. In order to produce lots and lots of great batsmen, you've got to have facilities and infrastructure and coaches and a very formal system, but I think bowlers can spring and emerge from anywhere and that's probably why Pakistan produce so many. Let's block ads. Why?